Two years ago, a group of former servicemen got together to lobby the government to strike a new medal to recognise everyone who had served in the armed forces since the Second World War. According to the National Defence Medal Campaign, tens of thousands who have served find they are not eligible for a medal under current MOD rules. With Remembrance Day drawing near, the group have been rallying MPs and public figures to support them in a renewed effort to gain public recognition for a group of forgotten heroes. Gathering together in London's Union Jack Club, the group want to relaunch their stalled campaign and persuade the MOD to rethink their decision to say no to a National Defence Medal. Roy Wilson is a Suez veteran who had to wait 50 years to get his medal. He knows what it's like to feel unappreciated. You could be a new recruit coming out there. You can be put on guard the next night and get shot. But because you got shot, you haven't got 30 days in it. You didn't get a... Sorry, I didn't get a medal. No, that breaks you up. The campaign leaders believe there are tens of thousands who've served in the armed forces since World War II and who do not meet the criteria for medals. But so far, defence ministers have refused to meet with them to discuss the issue. It's difficult to gauge really what they think. Um, most of the letters to the MOD seem to go to um, senior civil servants and um, you know, no matter who sends the letter, the, the replies are almost identical. New recruit to the campaign leadership, Terry Scriven, is a former RMP colonel who's also standing for the Lib Dems at the next election. He's invited politicians from across the House to support the cause. When the Liberal Democrats uh, had an opposition day for the justice for the Gurkha veterans, we won support from all the other political parties to win that vote and get justice for the Gurkha veterans. But the MOD has already created a veterans badge, which they feel gives these veterans the recognition they're asking for. There is a veterans badge. Yes, it's a waste of money. Well, why is it a waste of money? Is, is a badge not enough? No. It's like slapping the face in one sense. Why not come and give me a proper medal that I can walk down from Remembrance Day and send it up? With pride? I know I'm getting hold, but I can still keep a step. And have a pride to show people that I served our country and our sovereign and get a medal. When you see other people that she has sanctioned, and I will put my hands up and say, what's wrong with me? Campaign leaders believe this is not just an issue for former soldiers, but one which has serious implications for the current generation. Now my concern is, unless we get true recognition for veterans, our young men and women who are losing limbs in this current battle, who's going to be looking after them in 20, 30, 40, 50 years' time? This is now for people who've got to really walk the talk. It's not that saying we support our armed forces. People have got to show they actually do support them. Rosie Layden, the FBS reports at the Union Jack Club in London. Well, the MOD has.